Today I'm with Sonemi's Table. We're going to be making one of my favorites, chocolate chip cheesecake cookie bars. And these are some of the ingredients we're going to be using. And I'll put a recipe on the bottom of my YouTube page. And you're going to make these at home and you're going to love them. Let's get First started. First thing we're going to do, we are going to mix together two ounce bars of cream cheese. We're going to mix that with two large eggs, one half cup of white sugar, teaspoon and a half of vanilla flavoring. We're going to mix that out and smooth that up. <laughs> My machine won't work. Wait it, hold it, hold it. That should take you about maybe two minutes or a little under, a little more, a little less. You want it nice and smooth. We're going to set this aside. We're going to put together one cup of soft room temperature butter, three quarter cup of granulated sugar, three quarter cup of brown sugar. We're going to blend that to a little nice and creamy and we're going to add two eggs and one teaspoon full of vanilla. We're making our cookie dough. I don't break my bubbles. And we're going to get this nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. We're going to add our two eggs, one at a time. We're going to mix those. We're going to add our eggs one at a time. Teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, now we have this nice and smooth. Over here in this bowl here, I have flour, salt, and baking soda. I'm going to sift that together. This is as good a sifter than anything else. Whisk my sifters on the other side of the kitchen. And I don't feel like going over there. It's like maybe a half a step. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make sure that's in there real good. And so a little at a time, I'm going to add in this creamy mix with that flour mix. I'm going to go slow on the blender, on the hand mixer. We're going to get that combined. A bit more. All righty, now I'm going to add in some chocolate chips after I mix this a bit more. So this is what we want. A nice little cookie dough. And I'm going to put maybe two handfuls of chocolate chips in here. Eyeball your own. 
This is about a cup and a half of um, semi morsels. I'm going to mix this in there. And also, I had uh, maybe a quarter cup of um, walnuts and a quarter cup of pecans. And I put them together in the plastic bag and I smashed them all up. And I'm going to add that as well. I think I need more chips in here. Mm -mm. We need more chips. These are our nuts. So this is great right here. Nice thick chocolate chip. Walnut pecan cookie mix. Cookie dough. That looks good. So I have my pan and I lined it with uh, what do you call it? Parchment paper. It's easy to bring the bars up out once it's done anyway. And it's easy to clean up. So I'm just going to start putting my cookie dough mix in the pan. And we're going to smash it all up in there all around. And I did add more chocolate chips. Just a little bit more. Because I love chocolate chips. I think this should be enough. I'll try that for being enough. Okay. We're going to use our hands here. We're going to smash it all in. You want to get it smashed in really, 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 really well in all the corners. Once you have your cookies in all four corners, don't forget, we did make that cream cheese mix. Cream cheese goes on top. You're not going to put all your cookie dough in the bottom of this pan. Because you're going to put cookie dough on top. Okay, so we got a cream cheese mixture in there. And with the rest of our cookie dough, we just take bits of our cookie dough. Like you're doing little drop cookies. And you put it on top. No particular way. It's not going to spread. It's not going to cover. Um, it's not going to spread and cover the uh, whole thing while you put it in here. But it'll it'll come out some. It'll spread out some while it's cooking. Use the rest of your cookie dough. So that's about it. And that's all it takes. Really quick, really easy. We're going to put this in a uh, heated oven of a uh, preheated oven at 350. I'm going to sprinkle a few more chocolate chips on top. Well, more than a few more. You're going to bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. You're going to look at it. Oh, heck. You're going to look at it. 
if it's browning too much on the top, lay foil on it and cook it for 20 more minutes. Got that? You're going to put it in the oven at 350. 350 degrees. You're going to let it bake. You're going to check it. If it's browning too quickly, lay foil over it. Put it back in the oven for 20 minutes. Alrighty. Voila! I baked her for 30 minutes. I checked her to make sure it wasn't browning too quickly on the top. And I put it in for another 20 minutes. My oven is calibrated differently. And our chocolate chip cheesecake cookie bars are about to be completed. So here's our chocolate chip cheesecake cookie bars. I added almonds and walnuts. You don't have to do that. So this is how she came out and these are really, really good. You have to store them refrigerated. I put them in a the plastic freezer bag if I have any left over. And I put it in a refrigerator like that. I've never frozen any. But um, if you need to, try it. Very quick, very easy. The only longevity of it is the cooking time. 30 minutes, then 20 minutes. Or less, depending on the calibration of your cooking machine. So, okay. There you have it. Yum, yum, yummy, yum.